And I think that's the worry, is we will see political aides staff the next MAGA White House, and that means that your government, the government of the American people, won't function the way that it's supposed to. It will function as a political weapon instead of a public service. You warned that Trump 2.0 will staff the government, the American government, with deeply unqualified people, your words. But it's worse than that. We're not just talking about people with a lack of experience and qualifications. We're talking about deeply malevolent people. You run down the list of potential nominees for the National Security Council. You say it could include people such as Pam Bondi, Mike Flynn, Richard Grinnell, Peter Navarro, Robert O'Brien, Cash Patel, Eric Prince. Stephen Miller on the National Security Council. This isn't just a matter of people not knowing how to do the job. It's a matter of people bringing a malevolence to the work of government and all of it in service of Donald Trump. Hello. Welcome to the Friends of Zeus podcast. This is episode 173. We're going to roll right into it. Uh, tonight, it, Mike is steering the ship, and we're going to talk about this was behind me, Project 2025, and uh, Mike, you want to go yeah. ahead and just roll in? Jump right in. So, yeah, I uh, I had this idea, because everyone's all caught up kind of with the election. We should be, I guess. I'm not trying to assume anything with the election. But I've been thinking, in general, like, what, so what if Trump wins? Oh, what if Biden wins? That's another episode. We'll do that one for Halloween. But what if uh, what if Trump wins? Like, what does that look like? Because uh, I'm I'm sure we're all old enough to remember uh, 2016, and there were uh, riots, literally, lots of protests. Like day one, I mean, again, it, everyone thinks January 6, 2021, was the first time. But I mean, cars were set on fire in downtown DC, I'm like a block president. from the mall yeah um there was that video of that girl that was like right in front of the white house and she was like no nah. yeah oh, like oh, she yeah. so dramatic yeah, yeah she like, became like she became like an instant like a meme. internet mm -hmm. yeah like meme super, video all super of it. dramatic yeah yeah um can't wait to see it again gotta help so yeah <laughs> and so it got me thinking i'm like you know it's not like all the stuff that we talk about be you know the the media the the deep state the blob the whatever you want to call it the entrenched bureaucracy hollywood um all of these non-government organizations all the stuff that's going on on our campuses it's not like all that is just, all those people are just gonna be like well you win some you lose some we'll see you guys later you know it they, it they are not uh they are not just going to like recede into the background by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, they were they were walking around with clitorises on their heads. Yeah, the hats, the women's march, yeah, which I was like one of those hats. Which is yeah, I mean it's kind of a cool hat, but you know it's. I just did it. That was like on the day <laughs> of of his inauguration, wasn't it? That they had that. No, not the women's march or whatever. The yeah, that was the women, so. wasn't that the women's march and it was the yeah it was like march. a couple months afterwards or yeah that oh. was later okay i thought it was yeah no mike okay. you're talking about like right after trump won the election like the riots that went on in dc correct correct and yes okay. um so anyway they're yeah they didn't the, call that an insurrection they didn't call that an insurrection and again it's not like the media is not going to change the the amount of the people in our entrenched bureaucracy, and we've talked about decentralizing power before, but back during Trump's first presidency, there were quote unquote leaks constantly. You know, you never hear a leak anymore. Like no one's ever leaking. And whether those leaks were true information, not true information, that never really seemed to matter It because we wouldn't really find out until the news cycle had gone around like three more times. They would just say stuff you know, just say stuff. Um, <laughs> and then it would like make the rounds. And then later on, you know, we'd find out if it was true or not. And of course, there's a whole list of like all the fake stories. And again, we've had episodes on each one of these stories pretty much. So there's this group. Um, I think it was started by the Heritage Foundation. Yeah. 
um, and they call themselves Project 2025. And and what they're what they set out to do was to come up basically with a policy platform um, for the new administration. Um, and I think they actually even started it before Trump announced. So it was basically it's a conservative agenda in case the Republican wins. And again, these sorts of things, they're done all the time. Um, this one has a little more polish to it because of the, the, the times we're in, I think, a lot more people involved in it. And of course, it's getting the predictable um, freak out coverage by, by the standard media that we have. I don't know if you guys listen to that NPR thing I sent over and just, you can just hear in their voices, the immense amount of sadness and concern they have that conservatives may end. actually organize themselves right. and decide no, what they it, want to do. Yeah, it's the end of democracy. It's the end of democracy. I mean, you know, yeah. and of course, this is this happens all the time in in politics. I mean, if you, if you don't have an agenda, I mean, one of the things that Trump was lauded for the first time was he came out with that list, I don't know if you guys remember, of Supreme Court justice possible nominees that I think the Federalist Society had had slipped under the door to him. So before the election, he said, look, if you elect me and a Supreme Court seat comes up, I I'm choosing someone off of this list. And that was revolutionary. But as a voter, I very much appreciated that. You know, the more, if you have a politician that's like, here's what I'm going to run on. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, here's who I'm going to appoint before they're even elected. And then they follow through with it. I mean, that's kind of the way this is supposed to work in the first place. I don't know how anyone can complain about that. I don't know why my head is caving in. Do you guys see that? Nope. Okay. Um, anyway. Like you so, have one of those head injuries where it's Yeah, kind of that's what I'm saying. Your... <laughs> yeah, I guess I do need to the... I'll wear the hat. You know, so as not to draw attention to it. Um, <laughs> so anyway, it got me. I re I started reading up on this thing, and it's pretty interesting. And it's not, you know, surprise. I mean, you guys may want to sit down, but it was not nearly as um, uh, crazy and anti-American and uh, what, what's the other word that they use for it? Um, tyrannical, as as I had heard uh, through some of the. Through some of the stories I read, and I actually, there's a story that just came out Sunday um, about this from the New York Times, and Maggie Haberman was one of the main authors on it. So I wrote her an email today. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I'll post it. Anyway, and um, all I did was clip a thing from her her biography where she talks about maintaining journalistic independence and ethics. And I just clipped those two sentences and I sent it to her and I said, this is the funniest thing I've read in a long time. Thanks for the chuckle. And about an hour ago, she actually responded to me. She was wow. like, she wrote, cool. So I, anyway, <laughs> at least then we're opening a we're opening a dialogue. So Maggie, I, I'm <laughs> going to invite you on the show in the future. But now that, oh, that would be so awesome. again, she's a writer for the New York Times. She, oh, okay. And she wrote an article in the Sunday Times about um the about how horrible this project 2025 is it's one of the ones i sent you guys a link to that right. actually it's not the new, it's the dun the other one because i didn't want to pay for the paywall in new york times so it's yeah through you did another not site. you didn't send the new york times article. i didn't send you the new york yeah no but you sent you sent like you know negative reviews of project 20 i mean you did i just don't remember what paper they were from some maybe something called deccan yeah, but that was actually a clip of the article. Oh, really? That, yeah, it was the very last one I sent. Um, okay, was that the Deccan something? Yeah, Deccan Herald. The resistance okay. to a new Trump yeah. administration has okay. already the started. I, that's the one I saw. That That's her article? That's her article. She's one of the four. Yeah, the resistance okay. to a new Trump administration has already started. And we referenced it from the Deccan Herald, but it's from the New York Times uh, journalist okay. group. came out Sunday in their paper. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to talk about this in a couple of things. One, just because it's something I hadn't thought about before, like, and then get your guys' opinion on, you know, are you, I mean, how invested are you in this election? You know, 
have you thought about what happens afterwards? You know, what do you think the the landscape's going to look like? I mean, and as it is right now, what's today, June eighteenth? You know, and I'm not doing the whole polls thing and all that stuff, but Biden is really hitting some headwinds here on the on the numbers, and it's really you know I'm starting to think I don't know that he's even going to make it to right to the convention because you know how much can they prop this guy up i mean we had the him wandering away from the leaders over in europe and um we were told that what what did the kareen jean pierre say that it was a deep fake or a cheap yeah, no, fake? cheap, like, cheap, cheap fake. wait wait are we talking about the one where the soldiers parachuted down yeah yeah okay so i'm not trying to like no, say defend. it. That no, one you saw this... maybe I can see I that saw, one being fake. I saw a video, saw of, video of it expanded further out, and it yeah. did not look like he was just wandering off. It looked like he was actually talking to people. There's a guy back there. There's yeah. no. There's like three or four there's... guys. Like they really they they brought the frame in, so it it's a whole different like... angle. It's a whole yeah. different. It's, it's a... a different camera. But how about yeah. the thing with Obama at the it's fundraiser? It's like the Zapruder film. In Hollywood. Yeah, that one looked a little like you spaced out. So, it, I mean, I'm just saying, I'm not making Wait, this what stuff about up. The one, what about the one where he's with everybody who's dancing? Yeah. And, <laughs> and, he, and he just is he's just look, smiling, staring. I've not done that to him before. Moving. When they put him in, in a group of like, uh, he's like you know, African dancers, yeah, right. he just freezes, freezes up. Which is probably a good idea. I mean, dance. Speaking, yeah. I mean, he has about, I've got as much rhythm as Joe Biden. So, yeah, I mean, he I get falls it. walking up the stairs. We don't want him dancing. Well, listen, um, probably not. I'm, I'm not trying to there, people have eyeballs and they see this stuff. Yeah. And that's all I'm saying. I mean, the yeah, guy but that one that one I found kind of. But do you think Joe about Biden is how a much big... they they narrowed the frame of 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 that video again? That's he's a... a buffoon. I get that. Yeah, he's not but, a vigorous guy is my but point. But now they're like. But do you think they're fake? I mean, they're calling them fake. It wasn't fake. Videos. It was it was it was kind of like artistic license they 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 narrowed the they frame the so much out of okay. context i think, okay, I think one, they're two uh, totally different camera angles Nah, it's the same angle man i've seen i was one saw... one is like right in front and you see georgia what's her name merloni she like gets him back over to everybody yeah, why would else. she go back over to him no no the one that out? i the one that i saw they showed it doesn't exactly... matter if there's two cameras cameras are two different angles it does just... but it was just the frame of reference was different like the whole picture wasn't yeah. seen yeah. Right. But the well, issue was that he activity. left too early. Though. It's like it's like if you take a picture yeah. of the mountains and there's a factory was in there. Was he supposed to be walking away right. at that point? Well, well look, everybody else he, stayed. Look, even if there were a bunch of parachuters over there, and it was like honestly, you know, he was just going to talk with them. Even if yeah. that's the case, I've seen enough of these videos. I've heard enough of his audio. Yeah. To know I, that something is going on, he's not in the best shape. I mean, that's that's like a I major get that. issue. I get that, but let's keep it all up front and yeah keep it on the up and up okay I, I hadn't seen that other one but yeah. and you've convinced me i'm voting for biden now so you one, no, that's not what I, listen, I know i know i I'm know i'm not voting for the guy but but i get you you know i'm starting to feel like i don't feel bad i kind of do feel well, bad well, Zeus, like let, let mike get back on point sorry let him yeah he was no like... I, we can talk about this and yeah i look i don't take any pleasure in having our president be so obviously feeble you know and feeble-minded on a world stage we've talked about that before it's dangerous it, more than feeling bad for the guy it's dangerous for us as a country to have him out there doing that i mean we just have the the russian ships pulling into cuba you know mm -hmm. yeah, we got iran big, yeah. doing their like centrifuges we got little you know kim jong-un doing his next stuff election. You got, i'm honestly I mean, terrified so the whole idea of this I this episode is if they're the, the media, the blob, the deep state, the entrenched bureaucracy, whatever, they're already attacking and already coming up with plans themselves to counteract a Trump presidency. You know, you've got in that article with Inslee stockpiling abortion pills whatever your opinion is on that i think that's a little overkill on his part um I, I, absolutely i absolutely got, agree with you you've got um geez i'm just like drawing a blank on it but you've got these these oh the aclu that's already coming up with they're finding people to be 
future litigants in cases mm. for things that uh, if Trump enacts things that are in this Project 25. Right. And just the rhetoric around like how horrible it would be to deport illegal immigrants, you know, and how mm-hmm. un-American that would be and, and all this sort of stuff. And it just it it just is kind of depressing because I'm like, man, even if he wins, is we're just gonna be right back where we were before in 2016, where it's lie after lie after lie after lie, hoax, 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 leak, 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 everything they can possibly do do to like demoralize people and split people in this country into different camps they are not they're not going to stop and the fact that they are um coming out and having an issue with this project 2025 thing can you guys see that Mm -hmm. yeah is just rich to me that's like when i was reading the things where people are like oh man it's so horrible and i listened to that that npr episode of 1a with all the the hushed hushed tone concern, yeah. That, well, that's that's classic NPR. That's right? Classic NPR. Mm-hmm. I was just like, okay, what is Zach? I mean, can am, does anyone else see through this? You know, like anyone watching our show, other people, they're like, it's such a crazy double standard, and it's not. Again, it's not Democrat Republican. It's the party. It's the entrenched federal bureaucracy versus everyone else, and you know this this. These people that got together to 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 lay this out, I just appreciate that they did it. I mean, they're really thinking ahead further than I was, for sure. Now, a lot of people are saying, and what NPR said, they're like, "This is this is crazy. This is unprecedented. Why in the world would would the Heritage Foundation and conservatives need to do this?" Again, taking back, I had this little memory of uh, back in 2018. I couldn't remember exactly when it was. You guys may remember this. But the New York Times published an anonymous essay, which, again, I don't know if you guys have taken journalism classes, but 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 publishing anonymous, uh, non-editorial material in a major newspaper just it doesn't happen that often. I mean, it's extraordinary to do that. Um, And basically what this guy, he was within the Trump administration, and he wrote this whole essay saying how there are people within the Trump administration, within the federal bureaucracy, Mm -hmm. that are actively working to foil Trump uh, administration policies and workings, trying to gum up the works, Mm -hmm. which we saw with the um, Venman stuff, the first impeachment, all of this stuff, you know, the, the, the crazy leaks that were like completely fabricated the millions of people that wrote books about how horrible Trump was during the first administration. So for NPR to get there and say, like, I can't understand, uh, you know, this, these, these conservatives are so paranoid to think that there's this like entrenched federal bureaucracy that they have to prepare for when you just go back to 2018. And this is just one of many, many examples where mm-hmm. this sort of stuff was a light was shown on it. And again, the fact that they even, I mean, if you think about the balls they had to even publish this, I mean, in 2018, two years after the election, the New York Times published an anonymous essay from a dude saying, I am working within the administration. I and other people within the federal government are actively working against the president, a duly elected president by who? By we the people to do what? What he said he was going to do. And you've got who are these people, these non-elected employees of the federal government that live around dc that put themselves into a situation where they know better right where they're gonna what protect us from who from the person we elected i mean it's just bananas to me mike it's crazy but why do you think the new york times what was their intent in printing it like you said anonymous hi my name is john doe and i've worked for trump in the administration yeah and they just ran with it and And they just ran i mean that's well, I think that's but, the more um, important thing because it could have been written by somebody on the left to stir things up, you know. Well, well that's what I'm getting at. Yeah. That's, like, yeah. why did the Times print it? Like, that's what exactly what I'm getting at, Zeus. What you're yeah. thinking that they had another intent with the same text? Oh. Well, their intent was to stir, stir the pot. Yeah. You know, I mean, Trump and no, other people. Well, right. But yeah. Mike, Mike, like you're saying, though, if their intent was to stir the pot by saying, hey, look, even those people that work for Trump think he's a buffoon and don't trust him. Like if that was 
if that was the point, because remember, the New York Times is, has a lefty audience right. and a lefty slant. So they're printing it to show that even the people around Trump think he's an idiot and they don't want to listen to him. But right. your point is well taken in that there it also says something else, which is even though Trump got elected, he's not really the guy calling the shot. It's it's all these unelected officials that basically are going to undermine him. Right. He sets policy and they are there to execute it. And 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 again, it's one of the tenants. And, and, and they're not. And they're not. And and right. it's, it's this it, there is this perception among people on the left, leftists, progressives, Marxists, whatever. Rhetorically, and you'll see it all the time, especially on NPR, but in in a lot of the media, they conflate um the government, the the people, the systems, they conflate the government with the country. Right. So if you attack the bureaucracy and the inefficiencies and the the partisanship within the bureaucracy, again, like what we've talked about before, because they're all going to the same restaurants, their kids are all going to the same schools, all the power is centralized in this area. They consider that they they talk about that rhetorically as an attack on the country, which is just it's not what it is. The country is the constitution. The country is not, you know, multi levels of bureaucracy. And the other ironic thing is, pretty much all the people that this guy Miles Taylor was talking about in his little essay, and then he went on and did an anonymous book too, a couple years after this. Um, you know, all these people that are in there, they are under the art. They're under the president, Article Two of the Constitution, or under Congress. There is no uh, Department of Homeland Security in the Constitution. There is no Department of Education. There is no Department of Justice. There is no federal court system. These were all created by Congress or the president. Um, yeah, but what, what, but that, that's not going to change. So, but what I'm what I'm saying is yeah. their power comes through the Congress or the president. So the idea that these underlings somehow have yeah. Control, control or power that supersedes the president of the United States is bananas. And and it's like people just sit there and they're like, oh, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, what a rebel. I'm like, that's not I didn't vote for this guy. No one voted for this guy, Miles Taylor. No one votes for all these people that do all this stuff and sabotage policies that we did vote for. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I just wanted to bring up Miles Taylor again in this incident, because for people that say like, man, uh, conservatives are being paranoid or the Heritage Foundation is being crazy by coming up with this. Mm -hmm. This is just one example. The other ones, which, um, again, I don't mean to list all this stuff, but I had to do a list because, and it's not comprehensive. But here's some other stuff, right? We got all the lawfare going on. We got two ridiculous impeachments. We got leaks that aren't even... The New York Times would publish a leak from unnamed administration sources I, and they turned out to be fake like half the time and but they still published them the whole russia hoax thing the burial of the laptop story and uh again it's i think i sent that thing to you guys with jean paul he can't be on anytime soon but yeah i, I had talked to him a little while back and he said remember i told you that he got um what do they call it uh he got snipe not you know when they when they call 911 and they say somebody's got a gun in the house and then they go out swatted 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 he got swatted yeah it's ridiculous so he's terrified i'm sure and and again this burial of the laptop story people just sort of like oh okay well 2 weeks before the election in 2020 we had 51 federal i think there were mostly federal employees i don't think there were any state there may have been some state employees but federal employees Part of this bureaucracy who worked in the intelligence field, CIA, FBI, all the three letter agencies, came out and signed a letter saying that that the laptop had all the earmarks of Russian dis disinformation. And our news media and all of our major tech companies took that and shut down any mention of this thing, shut down the New York Post's Twitter site. I mean, th this my stuff question, my happened. question is. 
why aren't well, why aren't why isn't Fox having him on like every week? That's my question. Why is it that well, the right they wing? Should. Huh? Don't they don't they show clips of his rallies when he does his rallies and stuff? I mean, I haven't watched Fox about, News. No, I'm talking Trump? about JPMI. Oh, he's I'm been saying, on there. Why isn't um, he's what? been on there? He's been on there yeah, quite like, a bit, but he's been right staying now, low. Not with the frequency you would expect. Well, I think he's trying to stay out of the story right now, to be honest with you. Fair enough. Um, <sighs> again, fake news, other hoaxes, um, you know, a protest. Hey, Mike, James- just, just, yeah. just back to the laptop and the deep yeah, state. Yeah. Just the concept of like, the you know, the administration screwing the president, you know, at every turn, you know, General Milley, you know, et cetera. Um, but but it, but if you think about the whole laptop thing and the deep state element, OK, if, if we go beyond the hoax and everybody getting together and saying it was Russian. Remember, who was president in 2019? Trump. That's right. OK, when did they get the laptop? When did the government? 2019. Fu- OK, and they and no one bothered to look at it <laughs> or investigate a crime. Yeah into yeah. the rival candidate i mean yeah. why would th- that couldn't happen if trump controlled the, the the you know his his police force yeah exactly yeah i mean i mean that's another great example like the miles taylor situation that is more proof of a he's not in he's not like ruling not with charge. iron fist he's not in charge and people are undermining him you know, undermining his authority. And again, there it's not him. They keep talking about him like he's a dictator. He's the duly elected leader of the country, right? So I really wish he had not said that. Said what? Uh I want to be dictator for a day. That's gonna come back to Yeah, but you know. only yeah, I, I saw it. I I, I again he jokes about really something. It's like stupid. when he said it's like when he says, uh, hey Putin, if you're listening, you know, send me your emails or something like that. I mean if people it was are clearly it was clearly accounts, a, it's a joke. It was clearly a joke, and he, joke. yeah, he said, but we know how society is right now. They blow we know how the media up. is yeah. right. I mean, yeah. again, then they get into self censoring. I mean, what are Zuckerbucks? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll go down there. So oh. this is just a quick, quick thing. But again, you know, January 6, twenty twenty one, it was a protest turned into a riot, and now everyone calls it an insurrection, which is just, you know. They won, man. The media just shoved, 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 shoved that term down everyone's throat. People even joke about it and call it that now. Um, States changing voting procedures unlawfully without their legislatures, just having like the Secretary of State decide that we're going to count votes up to 20 days after Election Day or we're going to have like 52 drop boxes, but we're only putting them in these communities. All that stuff that the media is like, well, you don't have any proof of anything. I'm like, yeah, it is. It, you don't you can't tell that that changed the election i'm like dude it was in like half the states it was totally targeted and then you get in i'll jump down to zuckerbuck's does right this was a situation where this guy gave 400 and some million dollars to um quote unquote get out the vote um groups within certain communities and they tried to be like slick about it and be like Hey, here's some for the Republican get out the vote, or this is like a Republican area. But they, but in the Democrat areas, they were like super involved with helping those people. So they did, they gave lip service to one side, and then they were like adamantly involved in the other side. In other words, mm-hmm. we're we're a private company, and we're gonna give four hundred thirty five million dollars away to get out the vote for one party. Um, the Twitter file thing. Again, this is all stuff that, I mean, thank God for Elon Musk, right? We would never even, I'm not at Musk head, but we would we would have never known any of all that stuff, you yeah. know, if he hadn't bought Twitter, $44 billion. Censorship by omission. I mean, again, you look at the news, it's like what they're not saying, like, and then what doesn't get discussed is just shocking to me, like stuff that people, there's people that still don't know that Navy, Navy Biden exists, Hunter Biden's latest who, you know, and we got to hear about how much of a family man Biden is and doesn't even put up a stocking for his granddaughter at Christmas and all this stuff. Anyway, voting irregularities. 
the J6 committee, which shouldn't even have been formed. It was, you know, it's an unlawfully constituted committee. And again, it goes on and on and on. So when people say, well, why do you need this 2025 project? Why would the conservatives even come out and, and try to do this? Here's the reasons. I mean, this is very, very cut and dry. So, and this is the last slide for this, and then we'll we'll go around. But this is an actual, I didn't even realize this till a few days. It's an actual book. I'm gonna get a copy of it. Um, but just the 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 cliff notes of the cliff notes of the cliff notes, <laughs> these are the main four tenants um that they're that the goals that they're pursuing, that everything kind of falls on into one of these four categories. Restoring the family is the centerpiece of American life and protecting our children. Again, restoring the family, this is not uh, PMRC, uh, you know, trying to regulate record albums and all this stuff. Restoring the family is the centerpiece of American life means taking the party and big government away as being the center piece of American life, which is what the party has been trying to do for years. And that, that's what their goal is, is to displace fathers, deplace, displace the nuclear family. I mean, BLM had it right on their website for what a year and a half before they took that down. Yeah. Number two, dismantle the administrative state and return self-governance to the American people. Again, we are not here to serve the government. You know, the government should be afraid of us, not the other way around. The government is you know, we don't do all this stuff. We didn't form this country to be a jobs program for people that live in the mid-Atlantic region. That's not why we're here. Like they are there for what? For us. And if that's not happening, or if this thing just has gone off the cliff like it has, where it just becomes this Leviathan, it's time to dismantle it. And again, this goes back to what I said a few episodes ago about, you know, why don't we send the 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 CIA out to Kansas to have a headquarters. Why don't we send you know the FBI out to Arizona or whatever, or Department of Justice or what have you? Um, defending our nation's sovereignty, borders, and bounty, meaning like treasure against global threats. There's we don't have a border. I mean we're not even. I mean technically to be a sovereign country you have to have a border. You can't. Right now we're just. Uh, we're just a chunk of land. People just can walk in and walk out. We have no idea. I mean, this lady, she's been in the news lot lady who was murdered by this guy up in Bel Air, Maryland. I used to live in Bel Air, Maryland. The trail that she was murdered on, I used mm -hmm. to bike on that trail when I was like 12 years old. I'm very familiar with it. It is, it makes Mayberry look like Manhattan, right? Now, I know it's probably changed a little bit since when I was a kid, but this guy came over the border through Biden's system, bounced around, murdered this lady, and he had murdered people in El Salvador before. Oh. I mean, he had raped and killed people in El Salvador before. And there's no vetting going on. We don't know who these people are. By the millions. By the millions. So, again, for the people to stand up and say, hey, you know what? Can we have a border again? And this is what NPR calls radical, right? Fourth, secure our God-given individual rights to live freely what the Constitution calls the blessings of liberty. Again, you look at, in our in the rhetoric, this whole thing now where they're trying to say, oh, we're a democracy, we're not a, we're not a republic, we don't need the electoral college. I mean, uh, rights don't come from God, they come from government. All these things to, to get to take the origins of your liberty and somehow try to transplant it to the party as though we aren't inherently born with this because there's no place for a higher being in the party. There never has been. So to go back to that, which again has just been in our culture for coming up on 250 years and for hundreds of years before that um, with the birth of Western civilization as we know it. So these four things, again, if you listen to the rhetoric, You'd think that, you know, Trump's going to blitzkrieg through the United States and you know it's going to be like some sort of crazy thing. This is what they're talking about. And and it's like, I just don't understand how anyone would have a problem with any of this stuff. Well, anyway, and I know I heard you guys before I came on. I'm sure there's little things here and there. But well, I, like, I, one, let's one talk of the about things it. That, one of the things that I find alarming and 
So uh, I guess they're saying that part of this would be the, I, I want to say it was called like unilateral, um, like unilateral decision making for Trump. He would be over like the Justice Department and Homeland Security. He already is. Just, yeah, he already well, is. Okay, well, whatever it was saying made it appear as though his decision is standalone. What was it? Uh, proposes that the entire federal bureaucracy, including independent agencies such as Department of Justice, be placed under direct presidential control. Yeah. Um, yeah, he I, wants he wants to he it's he's talking about the Schedule F employees. He basically there's people who are not appointees. They're part of again this entrenched bureaucracy. The 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 permanent government, as Ron Smith used to call it, the people that are always there regardless of the administration. He is looking to make them as uh, at will employed at, the dis at will at the discretion of the executive. And again, the ironic part is that's kind of the way it's supposed to be. That's kind of the way it was designed to begin with. All of that well, power I mean, comes I through the executive that, branch. I always thought that there was kind of a balance between Senate, Congress, and the executive. And I don't yeah. feel like this... Yeah, no, Zeus. That, that would be yeah, but especially specifically with law enforcement, like he's he's the top cop. I mean, that's the yeah. executive he's branch. The that's their duties. Commander in chief. Um, right. He's their he's their cab. He's their chief. Um, you know, they're supposed to listen to him. That's what that's what's so funny about sure, but there uh, should JPMI be a and for... the laptop in 2019. I no one looked that, at but... it. What? No, that's what's so funny about the laptop being with the, the, the police of the federal government in 2019 under Trump. No one yeah. saw what was on there and said, hey, you might want to tell the boss about this. Yeah. What I'm saying is the way that was worded, I don't feel like there's the checks and balances that I would be comfortable with. Well, so is, uh, the, about... is the check and balance um, like burying the laptop story? No, dude, you know, you know what I'm I know, saying. but what I'm saying, but that's the result. Unilateral is not a word I like to hear. I, but I'm with saying presidential that's, power. Well, wait a minute. Well, it's, it's not it's unilateral. If, he still if can't that's, what it, that's literally what it says. If he's well, their boss, say. if he's their boss and he is, and he's supposed to be right now, even the way your balance of powers is set up, he can make that call. And how about all of them be at will employees? I'd be okay yeah, with that that's too. That's fine. Yeah, that I don't see fine. why that is a problem. I mean, to me, that's good. I mean, why do I? Why do you want someone in there that you can't fire? And again, going back to Miles Taylor, he's one of these people that Project Twenty Twenty Five is talking about. So you're right. telling me that it, it would be uh, unfair for him to be an at will employee? I mean, he no that directly. That, I, mean, I don't. I don't have a problem with that. I have a problem with the the terminology of unilateral control what i say goes but we are know, a country of you. people hold on hold on we are yeah. a country of people that are allowed to stand up even these assholes on the college campuses have the right to do what they're doing all whether i agree with it or not that's not the point the point is is in this country you're allowed to rise up against a government that you feel is corrupt whether it is or is not is not the point well no you're the not point is... be called an insurrectionist so you can't yeah do that. Apparently. okay come on guys <laughs> I'm, i think i'm making a valid point here right is that you you should still we should always maintain that because as soon as we don't we're fucked no but i don't see i guess where i'm disagreeing with you zeus is i don't see that that's what they're talking about i mean when you say unilaterally that's not I don't think you're reading that from Project 2025. I think you're reading that from like the NPR people who are like no. trying to. Yeah, they, they wrote this. the article. Yeah, they're the ones. Not that... the article that I'm I'm looking at. But, but here, regardless. But, here, but here's the thing: these it's not unilateral over the entire government. The executive branch has their stuff. Congress, the House, and Senate have their things. I, the Supreme Court has their things. My vibe that I get from this thing is that we're just. Because I'm probably voting Trump unless RFK suddenly boosts up. I'm probably voting for Trump. But I feel like it's just, okay, well, you got us for the last four years. Now we're going to come back at you. 
And I yeah. don't want that. I don't want that. I want what? pragmatic. I want pragmatic thinking. I don't want revenge to be in the mind, not revenge or retaliation, whatever term you want to use. I don't want that to be part of the decisions that they're making. It's not I revenge. Want... It's not revenge to hold someone accountable who has who is a paid employee of a government and working for an elected person who the people elected to do the job the way they're supposed to do the job. It, it's that's just how what I've read about this feels to me. They want to remove porn. Like, okay, I know that I know Who I'm wants, not I like don't a, think that was in there. Yeah, yeah, it is. Where? Um uh where is it? Where was it? I mean, uh, it may fall under the thing with the with the fam putting the family back at the center. But uh, yeah, again, under proposals, pornography would be banned and tech and telecom companies that facilitate access to such content would be shut down. Um <laughs> Think there's and then but but that. see but there's like, things that i like there's things that i like like the control that the schools have over our kids there it's totally against that and i'm 100 on board with that but Zeus, have you read are you reading an article have you or have you actually read the things in there because I, I, I don't I'm think reading that an any article. of that was in there because i I'm i didn't read all of them I read a well, lot of them it's how many page book it's a, I mean, it's a lot so i mean yeah um Anyway, well, okay. I don't think that's trying to eliminate all porn. It's, it, it sounds like literally said that they'll ban company. They'll they'll shut that's down. Probably companies targeted and at ban. pedophiles or something. Well, well, my well, first of all, the way it's wait, worded, it doesn't just say no more porn. Like, period. It doesn't. Say I don't that. think the executive branch. I mean, that would wouldn't that be the legislative branch anyway that would have right. to vote to say that there's no more porn, and then the Supreme Court well, might look to do at it, with, it uh, and. Yeah, that. What do you mean, banning TikTok didn't come through the legislature? Isn't that where it started? No, but I'm saying they're trying to do that with TikTok. What's wrong? Who's That's not say they unilateral, though. I'm fine with TikTok being um, banned. The but difference what I'm is everyone is likes porn. That sets precedent. <laughs> Even if you say you don't, you do. That's the difference. So I but mean, the, I don't think anyone really care. like like nobody in con Nick, the especially the president. Con Congress is no not going to mess with. They're porn. made of dudes. Yeah. It's all dudes. And, and plus, like, it's not all dudes, but they they're not. Gonna, they're not going to the stop Senate, porn. I, I they're not doing that. <laughs> yeah, they make porn in the, actually <laughs> in there. Recorded you're right. there on the desk. It's, um, but I mean, Zeus, I hear what well, you're no, saying. Well, no, no, no. But but yeah. my my point to that is, I'm not calling it art, but it is. <laughs> No, no, no. I let, no, I'm not defending porn. What I'm saying is that there's jobs that are produced by it. It should be regulated. Sure. Regulation, I totally get. Everybody has to sign in a certain way that'll, that makes sure that they're not children. I'm all on board with that. But I think that they is, do. I don't, I don't, I think the porn industry is Yeah, there's already laws not, that would, that, not that, yet. That you would can prosecute. still go on, you can still go onto websites without having to sign up for anything. Yeah. Nothing at all. No, I'm well, talking, oh, about you're talking about uh, that you're not a child viewing the porn. I thought you you talked you meant like doing the porn. And I was like, yeah, no, I don't no, think that no. they got that. But well, and and then there was another one about getting rid of one of the day after pills, and I'm so not on board with that. So that yeah. is definitely not from the project 2025. They are talking about the day, uh, the day after the abortion, twenty twenty five, and is. they were there was people there saying that they will not allow it to go past state lines or something along those lines. I'm so, not on board with I, that at all. The one of the reasons okay. why I was late coming on this show is because um I was actually I was whatever you can click on Are like you the pregnant? sections. No, <laughs> you can click on <laughs> fuck no. You can click on the sections and you can see and which departments. Down. Yeah, so I did click on the health and human services one. And I did read that. Like, I was reading that whole 57 pages of that. So what did they say? Because it was very interesting, like, and it kind of made me, like, kind of, like, mm, I really appreciate this project that they probably put a lot of work into being lobbyists and, I guess, having nothing else to do because no one's going to listen to you anyway and, in Congress. So, mm. um, I, it's just... I feel like in healthcare, I can't really speak to a lot of the other things that were in here because I didn't really, I, I kind of glanced on those, but there's a lot of stuff that needs to be regulated or that needs to be reformed. And there was a exuberant, an overdoing of the mention of abortion and yeah, it not just, it's with just, it. it's a lot. Like, all right, well, this, ev this it's goes, almost this, everything. Well, and it's, I that's mean, not inherently what the problem is with healthcare. Right. But, uh, okay, and so, I, with so all the respect, shouldn't be, though, 
we're the, talking the, about so the, honestly like reading through it, it made it seem yeah. like it, it it just made it seem like we don't really give a shit about everything else as long as you don't abort your kids and as long as you ain't being a transgender that's what we care about and it's not really what conservatives are yeah honestly cared worried about like i get you i get you yeah i don't like it well i mean to me it would make sense that a conservative think tank on the specific health issues that the america's captive would have a position and and that is the conservative position position. right but um uh when they're i mean some people would disagree with it and that's that's okay i mean a lot of people aren't going to vote republican because of the abortion issue I mean, I mean, millions of women are going to vote for Biden, even if they have him strapped to a dolly to stand up because of the abortion issue, because it's a conservative position. Right. I mean, that's I mean, that's, it would be that's what people position, are arguing but about. The more, the, the re- to take a realistic viewpoint of it, you can't stop it. Like you can't enact a complete ban. And honestly, Trump isn't going has come out and said he is, that he is not leave it at the state. He wants to leave it at the state. Uh, well, all. not only that, that's also a matter for the legislature anyway. I mean, he can't yeah. he, he can't this, do that either. This is so not put just that in a, there to focus like the focus a whole department's reform, which I think honestly the healthcare is one of the biggest issues we have in this country. There's a lot of yeah, there's it, there's a lot of them, it, but it is it, one of the biggest ones. It I mean, needs a lot of reform. For, Absolutely. Lot of reform. Yeah. 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 They don't want government money being spent to promote or or to proliferate more abortions. That's a, they I don't mean, want to outlaw trans. abortions. Yeah, but it you know, but it isn't. spending I mean, government I, money. I, I've said They're it before. They're wanting to take out the trans thing into the equal opportunity employment clause or the discrimination clause. They want to take that out of there. They want to just yeah, the it's DEI just... stuff needs to go. That see if that was in there, I'd be completely. I'm sure it is in there. It is in there. It is in there. But you know what? You can't just you can't discriminate against people. I don't really give a shit. I don't care about. I almost want to go. DEI is discriminating. I almost want to go back so you to the get don't rid ask, of the don't tell mentality. Listen, I don't care about what you do, and I don't. I'm not going to exactly. ask you about it. Do whatever you want yeah, to do. Yeah, wait a minute, guys. It's pretty hard to play don't ask, don't tell when Bobby comes to work wearing a dress. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but you know, that's I can I can think my own thoughts. Yeah, I don't. I, I can mean, say my own I words, but I'm not going to ask you about it. And I don't care if Bobby comes to work wearing a dress. That you I'm saying it's not don't ask, don't tell. Just saying, just for for some perspective, I'm. I mean, the, all the individual topics, I mean, again, they're important. This is a much bigger picture thing that I'm talking about than that. This isn't yeah, well, nice. what, I'm saying, for... what I'm saying, Mike, is that a yeah. lot of the whole, the focus on the family, realistically, the, the nuclear family is not how society is today. And if we can't get that in our brains, then that's a problem inherently. I mean, if, if conservative, well, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe the conservative that, you you're that this your generation is and my generation is is a little bit different but the nuclear family isn't it that ain't it don't you think society would be better off if it was i don't know i think we've gone too far in the desert to go back well okay i but even if i agree with you and with desiree which i do acknowledge that nuclear family the numbers don't lie there are more divorces there are more single parent you know single parent homes and, and that is the way it is Whatever the ideal is. But I think Mike's point was that things should be more centered around whatever your family is, the family, and less reliant on the government. Right. right but it, that's, that's, the, the, that's what it is. I mean, that's all that's yeah, the but point this is about. Yeah, but it's specifically stating religious bearing married families. It's but a much bit. like we say that the, the, the Democratic Party shouldn't be in our house and telling us these things, the same right. thing can be said mm-hmm. for the Republicans yeah, I, saying – You've got to be a be nuclear married. Fan. Right. Yeah, you know, I didn't. Get, I don't get that out of it. Though. I didn't get that out. They're this trying to get a... rid of abortion. That is. That is totally Again. propelling people towards towards we having wanna, children yeah, that they maybe talk shouldn't about have. Getting rid of abortion, but we don't ever want to talk about having you know stopping abstinence only education. We didn't put that in there. Right. We didn't talk about that, and that's a problem. Well, I mean, I got, this I, is this well, is a policy look, the, paper from a conservative group. It is not right. binding. This is the the point of this yeah, project. Trump doesn't have to like swear have to on it. No, no, Mike, that's fine. I'm just saying I don't that. think I, I like it that, that yeah. much. And he's not the legislature. I'm saying this is a the whole point is it's people getting together and saying, look, this is we're gonna push back against all this stuff that's been coming our way for years now. You know, and and for for NPR and these other groups to say. Man, isn't this crazy how these people are getting together to plan on how they're going to like run the government when that's exactly what they've been doing for 
20 years now plus and now they're all acting like they need a fainting couch because people want to get together and like form I need a fainting a couch. cohort right. and like push an agenda i mean that's my point i'm like i'm just i haven't seen the yeah. republican party or conservatives forget the republican party like have the balls to put out a, a policy paper like this right. you know and, like, yeah, but, target. and, and, but and at the, the end of the day being practical are two different things I At the you, end of the but... day, Trump has not said, I'm going to do everything in this proposal. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're not saying that either. I think Des yeah. and I, we I understand don't think he, There's a sense of that I don't think that he, that, he that that's never not would. Fly. Right. He but never would do it. It just doesn't make sense how you're going to make a policy. Like they, it, it's almost like they did. They took the whole government and they said, okay, mm-hmm. this is this, Let's, this what department. What do we do everywhere? Um, we're a group of 20 I'll people. Right Everyone pick a department. And you take it and you write the shit that you think is wrong with it. Mm-hmm. And you come back in 30 days and put it in a book. Yeah. Because you can really tell that some, some, I don't know anyway, but like it just, what it's like they took things that weren't really like, that didn't, that didn't really matter that were fine, that, that were working just fine and there wasn't any issues with. And they just wanted to reduce, re- reverse every type of non conservative issue in the departments instead of focusing on what's actually the problems. I mean, I don't think that the discrimination clause is a problem. It's not, it's really not causing any issues, I don't think, over like the amount of people coming in the fucking border. Why mm-hmm. is the, the, why is, why is the Ho- Department of Homeland Security section 27 pages? It should be fucking longer. Like, I don't, I don't under, I don't mm-hmm. understand what's wrong. Like, and why do we not address the, the actual point. issues except for, for what, what the, what the, non-conservative issues are does that make sense it's i i I get it and i guess my when i was approaching it desiree i was looking at at a a broader looking at this through a broader lens than getting into the minutia of this point that point and so but it's fine i mean that's that's why we're just discussing it and i didn't know that and i do need to read parts of it closer and again but i'm less here i'm not really here as a cheerleader of like we need to do everything that's in this paper my whole thing is like we need to know what the hell our plan is as a people. And to me, dismantling large portions of the federal bureaucracy is a fantastic start to me personally. And that's what I like seeing in it because it's not, it is it, never going the other way. Since we've been born, it's just been like this, right? Mm-hmm. And we're talking about like, can we just like go like that a little bit? And it's like Hitler, you know? <laughs> Okay, whatever, man. I mean, I just, I'm not I'm not as interested in the individual little points personally as I am. But, the and it's not, this is what well, they're promoting. Right, the I got amount it. of little points. It's like, again, there was uh, what's the the department that the National Weather Service not NOAA, but what's the or NOAA, but what's the department that that thing is under? I don't. It's like Department of Interior? Commerce, I think. I'm not so sure. in the Department of Commerce Interior. part, there was a, a section in there about how they want to separate NOAA, which is fine, I guess. I mean, does it does it really matter? Does right. the separation of NOAA really matter? And the fact that they want to take the National Weather Service and because there's an issue where with smaller places like AccuWeather and the way their forecast, right. that's not an issue. <laughs> no one cares about AccuWeather and, and National Weather Service not doing the same forecast. No well, like you that. said, like you said, they sent people out and said, OK, here's what the administration is doing now and make the changes that you would make. So there's going to be all sorts of minutia and stupid shit. Right. And bad, right. You know what I mean? Like there's going to be stuff in there because they're trying to cover everything. Right. So you're going to get somewhere. Yeah, but it's like the, right. the actual the main the main four issues, I guess, of whatever the issues are. Yeah. Don't They didn't really feel covered i mean it just just not right really great can i give I you know. my take on this yeah, yeah go ahead. so uh, when i was going through this uh project 2025 did anybody else get the impression this was just like a giant infomercial kind of yeah you, yeah. Read, yeah you read through it and then you get to you try to click on something and they're trying to sell you the book correct mm-hmm. you try to go to one of the other learning uh portion i think they're trying to get you to sign up for like classes. I'm like, what is this? I think it's just like a big infomercial. I don't know how right. much I'm gonna take this seriously. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and again- and I, what's what I what's funny too, Mike. Just on on my broader look at it too, 
uh, you brought to my attention the fact, because we've been hearing threat to democracy, threat to democracy, he's going to be a dictator, yada, 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 uh, you know, for since this whole campaign really geared up. I mean, since I guess since the beginning of this year, um, mm -hmm. maybe. Uh, and and I kind of wondered, I knew that they if they all told the same fib, then it would come across more as truth. And it's their whole campaign is to say he's terrible don't elect him. They have no policies they can run on. There's nothing good that they can report on, honestly. Um, but they keep using this dictator and he's the threat to democracy and all of that. And I kind of wondered, was that made up out of whole cloth or is there something behind that? So I was kind of surprised that this Project 2025 existed, this blueprint mm. for like I didn't know about it. I'd never heard Trump mention it. I don't, I don't know think he has. I don't yeah, think he ever has. Pictures with him and Project Twenty Twenty Five behind him. But it's, isn't it's... that what think tanks do? Is they just kind of make up that's what, that's a, a the pool of That's what I mean. So I wonder if the from, liberal like policy. Bank. I wonder if the liberal press got a hold of this thing and said, "Oh my God, yeah, this is what this is what he's gonna do." Yeah, so, but isn't the Heritage Foundation like really, really big and they influential? Are big. What if so the Heritage Foundation was actually kind of. liberal and they made this whole thing up to look <laughs> right. dictator like well, and just to piss everyone off? But I didn't think it's dictator -like. anything now anyway. Uh, who knows? I, mean, I, I just, I just, I guess I don't feel that it's dictator like to have the chief executive have executive control. Right, and downsize the government. Which and they do, because doesn't he have ex right. executive power? I mean, he does have executive, executive powers. Yeah. He's not how, about do anything that Biden didn't how about instead of downsizing? How about instead of downsizing, reallocating wow. those resources, say to the border, two birds, one stone. We have enough resources to handle it. We could shut the border down in do five we, minutes. Five million people got through in how many yeah, months? Because we're no, we we're don't not have stopping because them. we're processing them. <laughs> we're processing them through. That's why. Uh, yeah. There's over a million gotaways. I know that at right. least. And we so were doing clearly it we don't have the resources that we need. No. Yeah. So why Zeus, don't we take the Coast Guard and give them AR-15s and put them at the, line them up every mm. mile? You got to do <laughs> or half mile. I saw a video of the border patrol. They were cutting the barbed wire and then helping people through. Like right. A, That's holding the border through. Patrols, I saw well, I saw a freaking video of somebody climbing up. You know how the wall isn't. Coming? Yeah. Um, they're like shimming up like one of the uh, parts of the um, <laughs> yeah with the I've rope wall, that. like with so, the, the like a coconut ladder. tree. And I'm like, eh, so that's are we agree with what I'm saying that maybe they could instead of downsizing, reallocate as a force on our borders? No, we're and, saying that they have what's needed. They're just not using it. So maybe yeah, it's not. It's not people. a. Maybe they're overwhelmed. It's not a zero sum thing. It's not like an either or thing. It's like they can downsize. But and what I'm saying is resources. creating a great deal of job loss might not be the best move. The right, but you know, is, you, I, I think that there's a lot program. of jobs out there that don't need to be jobs. Right, but... Yeah, I'm so, look, if downsizing be. the government means that some people are going to lose their cushy government job, then I'm sorry, but you kind of blew it, and the federal government should be reduced. A little bit, Jesus. I mean, how nobody how needs many, a master of how many copies government employees are needed a master of in copies? Washington D.C. I just made that up, but like, all your job is <laughs> you literally just make copies. That's your job. You don't that job doesn't even be a job. Yeah, I mean, how right. how is it? Fired. How did we survive uh, World War II with when our federal government was eight percent of the size it is now, something like that? Mm -hmm. I, I'm just saying it's it's not just because we're used to it doesn't mean it's it's right. And the fact right. that, you know, when you have a situation where we've got a federal government that calls a decrease in the percentage of increase of a budget a cut, right? we're not even talking the same language anymore. I mean, we're, we're not saving money. Yeah, we're saving <laughs> money because, you know, I, I'm, I'm just saying the, the the we're so down the rabbit hole on all of this that we think we need all this stuff there's the department of education you say if you want to get rid of the department of education people are like you don't want children to be educated it's when's like the last time we had a budget yeah when's the last time we had a budget when's the last time it's we just voted a on bunch something of crs over and over when's the last time that congress voted on a bill that wasn't like fucking yeah. 5000 pages long see i'm all about the schools not having as much control over our kids i hate the fact 
that when I go to my kid's school, I got to buzz in through two fucking I don't really doors. hate that, but... I, I understand where you're coming from, from safety, but for me, I want to be able to access. I, I can't get past that and walk into the school, and I know where you're going to go with that, Des, because we had this discussion before, but I, I, I don't feel good about that. I mean, yeah. you can get in. I don't know what the fuck in. is going on in the school, except what's reported. And there's stuff they can't, there's policies they have, Zeus, to not tell you as a parent certain things. The mm-hmm. government getting between parents and children. Again, this gets so you back into me, putting the give family me a unit fucking, Give me a thumbprint monitor so that I can get into the school because I'm not a fucking maniac. Yeah, give but all they way. do is look at your face and they just buzz you in. I mean, what do you, what do you, what would you do with that? Would you go and shadow? Would you go and sit in a classroom? Because I think you could do that if you really wanted to know what was going on. You could probably go sit in a classroom with your kids for the day or whatever you know well, we did during i would COVID, rather have a right? bit of an element of unexpected not surprise but unexpected yeah that's i mean i, I they're never gonna they're the way things are they're not gonna allow they that. used I mean, to when you say unexpected i know that dude and, and only a few years ago i used to be able to walk up walk right into the school see what was going on and it was fine. It's not the world we live in now, Zeus. Well, what do you think they're right, doing there? Right, well, that's what I'm saying. That bothers me. And at least they were talking about uh, that part I liked about this Project 2025 is they were taking some of the control away from schools. Well, so I don't hate well, everything about it. Yeah. But they, but I don't think I like it overall. It's well, kind of like the, what do they call them, pork belly bills, where it's like, uh, <laughs> if you want kids with cancer to die, then then vote for this you know what i mean or don't vote for this they um, put something in another bill and then if you vote right. against it, it, it means it you hate children like that yeah. it feels right. like they put some stuff that everybody will like and some stuff that maybe people won't well again like. this is not a law it, i know a... i know i'm well aware that it's not a law and that and it's the big difference that may is, ever happen the, the, the big difference is right now if trump were to become president whether or not he paid attention to this thing or not what we don't we do not have one for biden there is no project 2025 that's published. that's published right you know there is one because again there is one there is one because they might not have named it a fancy name but because They've this is what think Mike tanks Kong. do and there are liberal think tanks so they're making well, that policy bank of what to run on right now yeah, exactly so, i mean these... there it's... yeah i just the... oh. oh i'm sorry i just i feel squirrely about all this this is like I haven't been drinking for the past for a couple of days, and now I got a beer because this makes me so anxious. This twenty twenty five thing, and I realize again. You mean the project twenty twenty five thing? It really makes me anxious. Wow. If, if, okay. If, dude, look at it from just try and look at it from a different perspective. There's a lot of stuff that seems almost. Uh, I'm going to use the term very loosely, but almost draconian, like the. Removing the the day after pill, I think that that is a fucking violation. That's one. That's one. Yes, that's one but that's I'm not one. Disagreeing. But 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 that's it's one. not a law, Zeus. This is just a how. This the is fear, like though is that an they, idea. They, like again, this is going to be like a policy bank. So and whoever, so, whether it be right. Trump or Joe Blow or Biden or or Michael Wilkes, yeah, going to run for president. You can just look at this project. Wilkes the idea is you look at Project Twenty Five, and somebody's <laughs> and already lined out all the bullshit. Right. You just pick and choose which you just platforms go. you're gonna run on. Well, hopefully the platforms me. that whoever whoever chooses is not the get ready of the plan B pill. <laughs> hopefully. And I don't um, think it is because he's already come out and said that. And I just again the, the abortion but he, issue. But Trump I, said that. Trump did said DeSantis that. say that? Did Michael Wilkes say that? Did Joe Blow say that? No, I mean yeah, but I'm not we, running for president. We don't even know he's gonna I know, but we don't well, look, know if Trump's even going to be the, the candidate president. Yet. Well no the candidate. When we have I mean, has, has the GOP come out and again. said that, no. that I know, but no, but, but has the had... GOP come out and said Donald Trump is our, our is our candidate? They haven't even said that yet. So You're right. they haven't I mean, had the they haven't had the uh what do you call it? Convention. The convention yet. But even but even beyond this, again, I appreciate the whole thing with abortion. I'm not gonna be like, well, just forget that. But I'm saying it's a little bit over is, the top, it's a but it's bigger picture. This is a lot such a larger policy. picture right. than that. Right. Yes, even, but, take 2025 but, and put it as take Project 2025 and put it over here. Pretend I never even brought it up. 
What does it you look like? You literally sent us election? five articles on it. I know, but what does this <clears> look like after the elect? What? What's? No, you see, if you want to talk about, about that, yes, I think it's going to be a fucking shit show if Trump wins, and I do happen to think that he will probably win, but it's going to be a fucking maybe not blood in the streets, but it's going to be worse From than when hell. he. Because the Democrats are fucking wins. bonkers. If the conservative now. wins the election, we're not. Let's not talk about Trump because he, like I said, the GOP hasn't even come out and said that's the candidate yet. Right. Because it's really, it's not just him. It's, I mean, it is him. A lot of it's him. It's he's ah the main character. But I mean, it really, it's any concern anybody that would is willing to reverse the laws that Biden and the liberals have put in forth. Over this past four years, anybody that wants to reverse that, they're going to it's out for blood. It doesn't matter who you are like they're they're going to do it again. And just like I think who, I think somebody it might was be saying, worse. Somebody I was saying I can't remember if it was Zeus or Mike talking about, well, I don't want this to be like the new non-Democrat president comes around. And then all of a sudden it's, you know, now we're going to get you for all the shit you did in the last four years. That I don't want well, that at all. Look, guys, at the end of the day, though, this is just one conservative, a gathering of conservative voices and think yes, tank, whatever you want to it, All it is, is a, it's just a suggestion box, right? I know that's, that. That's what this is. So when you're having these presidential elections, typically, especially an issue on birth control and abortion, um, the medical uh, field. I mean, that's why these questions are presented to the candidates all the time, and they have to make their position clear. I mean, has Trump come out and said that I, you know, any attempt to codify abortion, or or let's put it this way, did he ever say anything about banning it or being for a ban of it? No, no, and that's not the no. point. The point is, and, is that and, this is a very influential group amongst the right. And they are going to have an effect on how people think. And a lot of so, people. But don't are they have so, the right to put that together and just be like, fine. this is what that's we think? Fine. All do, I'm saying like is, I don't like this. everything about it. Well, you don't I have think, to don't like have everything to. about it. Okay. I realize but I'm just here, giving my opinion. But here's the bigger question. Okay. Suppose, suppose, suppose. Trump comes out tomorrow and he says, Project 2025, I'm doing everything in there. I don't want to hear anything from anybody. That's exactly what I'm doing. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be the best ever. And then, listen, and then he it's wins. Be the greatest thing ever. And then, and then he oh, wins. Yeah. I'm a hundred like, in a landslide. <laughs> Wait, and then he wins in a landslide, right? It's going to be the greatest. Should the should ever. the should the Miles Taylors within the federal government resist uh, resist that? Given that this but isn't it put out what... everyone voted for it and now but that's what happened last time that's what happened in 2016 everyone voted for trump you know what that's what i want i want us to go back to a point where where people were they able undermined to resist yeah, they were undermining change. the president yeah. of the united states yeah, i don't like the resist part not in the federal government it's up to the people to resist that's it's what i'm up, saying the, it's that not the, up people to the people resist. were paying to follow mike, the policies that's that what we i'm voted saying for. mike okay. that's what i'm saying well, no I one's want... resisting the administration now. No one's resisting because they're all on the same. They're all the same suit. They're all yep. the same thing. I want to go opinion. back to a time, as I was saying, where what we thought matters, us, the little people. Yeah, that's, where... those days are that's gone. What Mike's saying. That's what I'm saying. Those days are. That's yeah, but, but allowing them to just write something down and 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 just throw enough spaghetti against the wall in hopes enough of it sticks. I don't know. What's I, the I, difference between this and just a regular? I mean, we have party platforms. You have the Democrat Party mm -hmm. platform, the Republican Party platform that lists all the, the whole agenda. I'd like to see what the Republican Party they already do that. Was. So they already what's do that. the difference between I don't think this that, and that? Th that this is maybe like a precursor to that. But Correct. like I was saying, I don't think that everything captured in here, number one, on a platform, yeah, it's the bigger issues. The more, yeah. the more of the. So there's already the an agenda. That the Republicans are going to endorse. Well, this is yeah, right. So the but Republican the problem is, is again, Tom and Mike and Jack's conservative is different than Desiree and Craig's conservative. And yeah, right. and right. I mean, this is not to be rude. This is not coming from a rude comment such standpoint. This is coming from reality. Um, we're going to be around a lot longer, and so the laws are going to affect <laughs> us and the generations <laughs> going forward. <laughs> and so it should be more. Zip. 
<laughs> it should be more and uh, no i mean that's not meant again it is not meant to no, no i way. gotcha so i feel like the the kind of conservative that is now maybe should be reflective of what's in this platform not the married family and and uh it didn't say married fa it's just family yes, it's okay. a married the family, family. Okay. children but even it's if it does of married couples even if it does and what i'm saying is the republican party will come out with its own platform but going back to what you're saying about i mean are you saying it's better for children not to have their parents married i'm not saying it's not better to have i'm saying that's that all i'm I, saying well here we go i'm married right it's not to drake's father yeah if I was married to his father, I might have put a gun bear on my mouth already. I got you. Like, so it's Statistically, not. Statistically, it's and, better. Zeus. To have a nuclear family. Is it is it better for in Zeus's household to have a nuclear family? We've had that Statistically, conversation. Statistically, not in every case. Yeah, of course um, not in every case. There's a lot there, to... The general consensus is that having the father around right. is very around. good for the upbringing a father. of the child. You don't need to. You, that, I know. I agree with topic. you. I agree with in you. In a married family. I, just, I mean, I just... An involved father is what they're saying. Usually a, married. A well, look, at the end, is a whole different thing. Look, Desiree, here it is, though. At the end of the day, if there was one unified Republican platform, which there's not, just because of issues like... Let's say that there was one, and let's say Trump swore an oath before he got elected that he's going to follow this Republican policy. And let's say that that, that Republican policy is pro-life across the board, boom, pro-family, whatever. You would have the right to not vote for him. Right. That's but all that would. that would mean. I would just because like that doesn't even affect me. It, you know, it doesn't even affect no, me. No, but what, I I, what I'm saying is the people, the people will decide. I mean, that's what it's going to boil down to. You're right. They're going to they say, will. well, no, that's that's draconian. That's fascist. We're not voting for that guy. Or they're going to say, you know what? That sounds right up my alley. I'm a Democratic voter. So and they're going to vote, my vote for in. fucking Biden. So if you don't vote for one, you're going to vote for the other. And the other is not the sound choice either. No, no of course not. I'm just saying people you're, are going to vote with their conscience. But whatever just it is. It's a case of picking the one that's not the worst. But, but wait, not, here, here's not the who's point. the best. Here, here's the point. If you're, bad. if you're a Biden voter and you vote for Biden and he wins, then the policies of him and the Democrat Party are going to be forwarded. If you are a supporter of Trump and you vote for Trump and Trump wins, the policies of the Democrat Party are going to be forwarded. That's the point because they're entrenched yeah, but it's like, in who the are you bureaucracy. Vote for, Stalin or Hitler? I'm, what I'm trying to say is, and what Project 25 is trying to do, and I'm not getting into the policies, but I'm getting into their trying to organize part of it and to turn these employees into at-will employees and to break up the bureaucracy is because we've put, we've seen this movie before. Trump wins, and then the party just keeps on marching on. They Again, this whole article that Maggie Haberman wrote about there's already talking about like resisting. Like, who are these people? Mm -hmm. They are federal employees. They're not right. the people. We are the people. So yeah, it's like I, pretty ballsy for them to be putting out an article of like, here's all the ways we're going to resist. But you know what? Whatever. Even though I don't agree with them, I like the fact that they are able. What? In How do you, this... do you like that they go against <laughs> your wishes as a citizen? I like that people are able to voice an opposing opinion. When they vote. <laughs> Not when they're in, they the, go not when they're being in paid. good faith with the president that they're working for. You, you know, both to... of these jokers, I don't even know. All I'm saying is, if I vote for someone like for president, here's, here's a different example. I want so the like... government to take their policies and run with them. I don't want Maggie Haberman or someone else being like, or Miles Taylor being like, you know what, Michael, I know you voted for this guy. And I know that that's this apology, but I work in D.C. and I know better than you. So I'm just going to like fuck this all up. That's bullshit. And that's what they I were do doing that. in 2016 to 2021. That's what they did. And then I mean, what and then did we got he really what we got do, now. Then? I'm sorry? What, what was I he really know. able to do? To yeah, stop what was he him? able to do, man? They like they hogtied him and like put a fucking concrete rope around his neck for four years. Yeah, not, not only that, but once they figured out who the Trump loyalists were, the people that actually had Trump's back, they, went they after basically them. they went after them after the fact and a bunch of them have to do jail time or they're already doing jail time. And Peter Navarro. Or they, or they had to become, here's, here's or they had to become convicted want. or they had to become convicted felons and take you know, a deal. 
here's what I don't want in a Trump presidency. And you guys are probably going to disagree with me, but I don't want retaliation. I don't want. Yeah, you well, said now that. Put, I don't want that. I want to move Trump forward. Two wrongs don't make a right. Whatever you want to call it. Move forward. Trump be said he doesn't people. want revenge. He said yeah. his revenge will be his success. success. Okay, well, good, then, then good. Revenge, then that's fine. Democrats just only, they say, oh, he's talking about revenge. He's talking about revenge. They don't say the whole sentence. He said, my revenge will be yeah, my it's, success. Yeah, it's old well, movie, the, it's the old movie is, reviews all hopefully over. Hopefully the success is saying, okay, um, you can't uh, have, train, you can't fuck the whole bathroom situation in schools. You use the bathroom for your assigned gender. That's that. Hopefully it's stuff like that. And like none of that was in this. Pro like, like this is like the National Weather Service and AccuWeather aren't an issue. Stop talking about them. Right. Hopefully it's stuff that's important. Um, maybe about the millions of people coming over the border and what the fuck we're going to do with them. Or maybe the fact that our, G our GDP is what now 20% uh, of it yeah, is healthcare. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we need to fix that. I mean, there's issues that are just that are more important than the married family and the fucking weather service. I mean, that's okay. all I'm saying. That's where I'm then. That's my soapbox. Okay. I like it. And maybe like they should have wrote if they did if you know if the conserv this is what my problem I have with conservatives is this. If you want to go forward and make change, maybe not stop living in the fucking past of the married family and don't abort exactly. Your kids. Like think about it in a little uh, I'm not saying be progressive, I'm just saying think about it in like a little bit of a yeah, more practical I, way. Let's maybe not we need talk to come about up it. With if you don't want to abort babies, maybe teach people how to have sex act yes, properly. Maybe we need to come up with some new de definitions for like our politicism like what you're saying like progressive is kind of the right word but forward it's thinking not. or being realistic about situations yeah, or... pragma pragmatism should be much more the pragmatist party yeah i'm totally for yeah. pragmatist party but like i said and not to, i'm not trying to put too fine a point on it but are you saying it's better to not have a mother and father in the home with a child no, I mean, is that in, the in a lot of that. situations, if today the divorce I'm rate is a no, no, I am. No, I really am. So 51% of people are divorced, right? how do you think divorced, I right? feel about that? I'm saying just generically. I'm saying no, generically. No, listen to what I'm saying. 50 but it's guys, the numbers generic. don't lie. The numbers don't lie. 51% of, yeah, right. of couples who get married, the marriage in, in, ends in divorce, correct? If you go on that and say every couple, every, if that's every couple, then 51% of those families had those has had those marriages not in, 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 ended in divorce would probably be a tumultuous relationship. Therefore, about, 50, 51, hold on, 51% of sorry. the children th that were products from those families would grow up in a broken home. That's not good for anyone. How about it's torture to the children to live in a household where the parents where don't get along. I'm not saying no one, to continue it. And no one's not, saying yeah, ban divorce. I'm not saying, divorce. like, oh, his dad's a serial killer, but no, don't but kick we're him not out saying, but I'm not saying. But Des and I are not saying that the father should be involved. To promote education of, like, how to fix, how to, to promote so what education do you, to a what man, do you aspire to? how to what, fix his marriage what is not how aspire to fix to? the situation. What should we aspire to? Co-parenting is much more of a... Yeah, much more of a pragmatic thought process. Two houses next to each other. The kids can go next door. Whatever. Yeah, I just Listen, can't get man, with that, man. I can it, get on fine. this soapbox all night, but I'm trying That's to not yeah. go back. I mean, I, I, I get you. You know what? We got to evolve a little. You know, marriage is you know, that evolving. Does, there's a lot of conservatives out there. There's conservatives out there that, 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 that are not even entering into a marriage because yeah. of tax situations. I mean, that's... That's pretty practical. Yeah. There's yeah, people yeah, out yeah. there, most of them being conservative, who want to be childless and don't ever want to, you know, it's just not a... And our legal system it's just... makes it super cheap, except for how much money you want to put into a wedding. It's super cheap to get married. I got married for like 600 bucks. But you want to get divorced, it's going to cost you fucking 20000 bare minimum. The system is set up so that you build more of your group... <laughs> And you, and you, you uh, diminish. Uh, well, we, you just build your more of your group, more Catholics, more Christians, more Muslims, more whatever, and then more Republicans, more Democrats, more Libertarians. That's what marriage is. Done. It, there is okay. no argument to that. That is what it's for. Because in the Bible, isn't it all about your connection? It's about your your love. There was no like legal contract. 
Yeah, there was. Please. I didn't have Correct shit. me where I'm wrong. That's the legal contract. All we're saying is that things would be better if more families worked out and more families were happy together. Not that happy they need together. Maybe it That's would be better saying. for children. I know so God, not every is, family is happy, happy but together. it would be better if they were. Yes, if but it's well, better. Yeah, but that's but just is, not going to happen, Tom. It's, it's better for that's for all they're children. saying, though. They're just saying yep. let's try to vote, let's try to promote better families. So the let's word try should be happy children. families, not married couples. I mean, let's just right. think practically. And how about it's how about just just in the saw, didn't say how about couples, in the workforce okay, you provide well, marriage you counseling every... for for parents that are having trouble? You know. It should but be readily available. What's wrong with going from 51% have... divorce? Let's go to 60%, you know, success and 40%. Div- wouldn't that be good? That'd be fine, but, still, but that's yeah, not so let's, Why not work families. towards that? Maybe they should make divorce a little harder to do. I don't know. That's, like, they're, that's they should, what they I'm saying. They should make marriage a little bit harder that. to do. You, are not, you can go to Vegas right now and marry people. You know, here's what they should do. Street. No, Des, here's what they should do. They should make it harder <laughs> to get married and easier to get divorced. Yeah. Wait, because then you're committed to the marriage. Divorce yeah, is I'm not probably on the democratic either. platform. Yeah, I'm, uh-huh. what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not disagreeing. I let's certainly get the ones I'm that are saying, there. Let's I'm get them divorced. Less marriages. I'm just, I'm just. That saying was my that only point. Yeah. The, well, it's kind of like the old joke: if you have a, if you have a gun, just make the bullets more expensive. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then yeah, you have Chris to be Rock. committed to what you're doing. And that's just, what I'm saying. All I'm saying is the lies of climate change in the research shouldn't have been this big of a paragraph. Right. It should be 500 and pages. The, the married family and the focus on fathers being in the home sh- shouldn't have, it shouldn't overtake that when that's not really the, I mean, and sh- not, not, not necessarily people. in the home, but the in federal the home, government right. can't control the father. They down think the it's streets. a root cause does. They think if they do, I just get, fix I get, this but, basic but root Tom, cause, Tom, everything Tom, else. I get what you're saying. I understand. Itself. Present fathers is a good thing. They should be present. Right. Then you have less no crime. You got less, but they don't have to live in the same goddamn house. All I am saying is when you are trying to think of issues that are out there, the fathers being in the home, although it might be an issue, probably not one the federal government can control, honestly. And the focus and should not be on writing policy to reflect such. I and mean, and it's, it's not it's not that they're in the home. It's present. Present is far more important. I, I know plenty of people that are divorced and they get along and their kids are fucking me, great. Give me an example of one of their policies. Present. What was one okay, of the listen. policies? Okay. Uh, well, I'll pull it. I'll, I can. I'll pull it up in a second. But there is a there is a clause. Actually, I, I think this was when um whatever whatever department that child support is under. What is that? Oh, health and human, health services. human services. I don't think so. Yeah. I think it's a different child one. Child protective services. <laughs> no. That's anyway, I don't think it's HHS. But anyway, so the child support um maybe I don't know. But anyway, they're they're just proposing in there a child support tax credit saying that if you are a if you are the non custodial the non custodial parent like let's just say me and Justin, okay, he's the non custodial parent in our situation. Granted, we get along, say we didn't. Let's just say we didn't. Right. So, because and if he paid his child support, if he paid all his child support, you get a tax credit. He would get a tax credit. Now, yeah. the idea is, as stated in this, is the four, because if they're paying their child support, they should be able to get that credit because then the money saved from that would therefore go toward the um, financial uh, contribution for the children. Let's think about that. I'm not saying a lot of fathers out there who pay child support only pay their child support because they got to and have never right. seen their child a day in its life. Mm-hmm. Don't even give two fucks about yeah, it. I, they're I only doing because they're mandated to do it. Or maybe they just go to the McDonald's every three Saturdays and see the kid for two hours because they have to. But mm-hmm. isn't the idea to incentivize people to support their kids financially? Like, isn't I don't it get, that like shouldn't a be an boost? Yeah, you Listen, you don't pay your child support, change. you're going to jail. Well, right. But you it, don't need a tax credit incentive. You don't need a t- because the idea behind that is not the not the reality. Um, any honestly behind any tax credit, to be honest, but that 
Don't pay your child support. Credits. Pay your fucking child support. If you take you care of the kid, you get Well, like you credits. said, if they don't, they could be put in jail, which is, you know, if you want to bring charges for contempt yeah. to court, you know, then, yeah. then they'll go it's, to jail. It, yeah, they but should. I mean, and they don't, but, though. They don't. But, I mean. But instead of getting to that point, perhaps the idea that the guy is going to get some reward for doing what the fuck he's supposed to might incentivize them a little more other than fear of jail. I mean, they may just think, okay, well, I'm going to get this extra money just by donating the bare minimum minimum that the statute says I can afford it. Okay. Cause I'm going to get half of it back or whatever. Like it's horrible, but talk about pragmatism. You're trying to get someone to do something. So why not incentivize it to some degree? I'm, I mean, I'm not that, necessarily but, against but the, that. The, the thing, what they're writing in there, what they're writing in there is that the, the money that they get back in the tax rate is going to go to the financial benefit of the child. No, I don't care if the guy blows it in Vegas. I mean, that's not the I, point. I mean, I don't care. I guess I don't what care either, but if the government is talking to? about tax dollars and how to spend them and allocate them, I mean, maybe giving some fucking asshole some money because he paid his child support good for fucking you. I mean... Well, right. But I mean, they. I think they should also give more tax breaks to people that actually do start a family if they want to be so pro-family you know but if that's they what do they're trying they to... do you get no but i mean maybe additional tax break for maybe additionally kids. why not give them another extra tax break like why not sure. well i don't think no. that four hundred dollars at the end of the tax year if you file your taxes anyway is going to incentivize you to pay your seven hundred dollars a month in child support i just don't think that's no i don't mean but... no i'm moving on from that guy i'm saying oh. in addition to try and incentivize like just decent behavior why not try to you know incentivize actual like you know starter families like they're always talking about giving a a tax break to some to someone like trying to get their first mortgage or their first home why not just give someone an extra incentive just for you know for starting a family why is the government involved at all no, but Mike, I'm just saying know. if they're going to really take know, our Mike. money, if they're taking yeah. our money anyway, and if your platform is going to be we want more families, then incentivize it a little bit. Give give them some of their tax money back that you yeah, robbed. I just, I'm yeah, just, Rob. I just didn't get in. I didn't consider it as much as you have, Desiree. Well, and yeah, I, no, need, I, I, need, I need to. I just, I didn't. I was looking Maybe, at they just, a larger like I said, picture. I think that yeah, there's so many the more weeds. issues. There's so you many know, more though, issues than the ones pointed out in this project. And I just, yeah, they, I, right, I agree with you is, there. Yeah. yeah. If I may, they're guys, bigger and it maybe, ha- maybe you have, should have, should deserve a little bit more attention. <laughs> this is a clip yeah. you can put on your show because this is the thing about our show that is great is we're like straight up disagreeing to a point and nobody's fucking calling names. Nobody's saying you just say stuff. Yeah. Because we got rid of that one. Um, but that's the beauty. No, it's the beauty of what we what we do here is Des and I, I get oddly enough, we're both on different sides of the political spectrum, but we're kind of lockstep with a lot of these things. No, no, I think and, we're we're different but similar. Similar but different. Yeah, similar. We're similar. Um, whereas Mike and Jack are kind of not necessarily on the same page as us, but that's fine. This is really what we need in the broad spectrum is people that can sit in a fucking grand room with 600 people in it and not fucking make fun of their blonde haired beach body fucking bullshit. I'm well, you said you wanted I agree the with resistance you, though, but I do. The other thing I is, do, what but to... disagreeing and fucking oh, sorry, fighting Darcy. are two different things. You name want calling the, you want is the Darcy. Stupid. In the, the group. No, I don't resistance. want name calling stupid. You just say that's stuff what bullshit. the guy, the Michael Taylor guy was doing. I don't want that. I want, I want polite discourse. He's going I against want... the grain on purpose to try and disrupt. And, and well, stop. that's not what I'm looking for, Tom. I you think said I've you wanted it... the resistance, though. No, he's resistance. Zeus. He's going back to the earlier, earlier part of the, the Miles Taylor guy. Yeah, yeah. but I. Yeah. Resistance and hostility and unbridled anger is not what I want. I want people to go, okay, I, I disagree with that, they're, but they're I kind of buy out. into this little part. We're, we're, that's we're, all I'm seeing from the Democrats is hostility and anger. Right. Well, so why don't some media? How come? Why? Why? Hopefully, the answer to this is maybe this is not going to happen. But um, somebody puts out in the media the anti-project 2025 i mean whatever the liberal think tanks are creating because like like you said mike they're making these i mean this is 
this is just maybe the first time we've mm-hmm. seen something like this. But they're they are making the policy banks. Right well, now. we see we see their policies in action like every day. I mean, like they're making it pretty clear what their policies are. They want an open border. Yeah. They want to give. They want to yeah. give. They want to give. We see the major. We see the major issues. Paper, we see the major issues, but the little nitty gritty shit like the weather service and the accu weather. We don't. We don't know what the. the well, we the, we know how they feel about climate change because they beat us over the head with it. We know how they feel about that. I mean, there you go. Thanks as far a lot, as the weather. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I just I. Why don't they publish what their shit is? That's what I'm yeah. saying. I would love to see that. Yeah, no, I mean, it's like I said, it seems like it's there, but you're right. Maybe it'd be great if they put it all in writing and said, this is what we believe, America. Vote for us. Well, because then, because then maybe they'd lose for once. But, and the, but the thing is, the, the, the powers that be right now, the party, whatever, the bureaucracy, they, they lie about what they're, they're wanting to do. They never come, come on, out. Dude, and dude, say, dude, come on, man. The right, you think the right doesn't lie about shit? Come on. Let's be fucking realistic. Let's see. Come I'm on. just saying they never just come out and say we want to have an open border because we want to have people come George in. George W. Bush. They say was no. The border's secure. Upside down. Dude, when he I'm was not told doing about this that. binary thing. You're you're talking to the wrong guy. Dude, I'm, I'm talking about no, the federal but government. It's fucking re- Dude, George Bush. Whether I like him, which I actually do now. Yeah. Went to war because they tried to kill his fucking daddy. You don't okay. think some lies were involved in that? I know there were a lot of lies involved in okay, that. Okay, but then don't I'm not say a, any that huge pleader for George one Bush. One side is no more guilty than the other. I That's, think I totally all disagree assholes. with you. Yeah. Well, 100% then, then disagree. I That's think a people little... lie. Yeah. Well, yeah. A lie people, people. When people are get lying caught people. doing stupid things, they lie. And yeah, politicians of are people. Okay. I just I don't see the Republican Party trying to destroy the Constitution. That's all. I don't see them trying to revitalize it. I I I see them trying to salvage it, maybe. But again, I'm I'm not getting into the Republican Party. I'm not a Republican Party, you know, cheerleader. But I am definitely a pro-American cheerleader. You call the Democrats the party for God's sake. Right, I'm a pro-American constitutionalist, man. Which it kind of is. but you, I've told you how many times it drives Dude. me crazy. Wait, hold on, that you call them the party all the time, and you still it's, do it. You are you are entrenched. Don't even the act party like you're not, also dude. includes a lot of Republicans, right. man. It's not just no. Democrats. It's not no, just you've Democrats. Never made, you've never made that assertion before. So if that includes Republicans, yeah, we talked about fine. that. Yeah, I think he has because it's not. Yeah, that's why he doesn't it's, say. Yeah, some people call it the Uniparty. Yeah, the Uniparty. 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 Okay, well, I'm and Mike, I'm not getting mad at you. I'm, I'm just. I, I'm okay, this man. one really. Okay. This episode is really. <laughs> I was just crying. Sorry. Ang- making me anxious because I get that. I get that. But but here's the thing. I don't think that I really don't think that we're gonna get Isn't much change anxious. from Trump. The only thing that's gonna change right. from Trump. Is that people are going to shut the fuck up a little bit, and Shit, that's what I, I want. They're going to they're going to be louder. Yeah. No, that's no, what I'm no. About. Eventually, it's going to get ugly. Eventually, it, it they'll I, hopefully they'll shut up because I can't deal with this much more in my life. Yeah, I'm with you. Wa- watching yeah, I what think I all say. of us are like that. Yeah. You said it was going to be a shit show. I, me? Didn't you? At first, Tom. Come on. Why are you always? I'm just that you now you're saying In, initially gonna okay. it's going to be just like 2016 or was it 2016 2020 2020 it's going to it's going to be like that there's going to be you know people throwing trash cans through Starbucks you know windows yeah at right. first Looting. it's going to be like that but that'll die down um but I just want a day or two <laughs> just, even if the first couple of days everything was just fucking chill and you didn't have to worry about who's fucking driving this country into the dirt. It would be a relief to me. I'm so fucking tired of everybody talking about what's wrong about them. And they're talking about what's wrong about them. Well, I'm who just, is that? Which guy, Trump or Biden, can you just just turn off look, the TV Trump, and not worry Trump about it? Says some, he said he I will repeat it. I want to be the dictator for a day. It's a stupid statement to make when you got these assholes you don't over have to here. Worry that, about oh, hold that. on, let me finish. When you got these assholes over here, they're gonna dig in and fucking pummel you for it. He says stupid shit. 
Biden That's nothing to worry fucking about. mumbles. What? Why are you worried about that? Just turn the TV off. No. That doesn't I matter. I don't even watch all. TV. <laughs> you know what I mean. Turn off the news. I don't, don't listen about. to the news. I hate the fucking news. This is where I get my news. Oh, man. <laughs> yes, that's right. Sorry. Um, I just got a thing about the whole dictator for a day. Um, why don't he be a dictator for a day? I think that maybe if he was, if he could be, if you know the genie in the bottle came out. Um, is it bottle or lamp? Lamp. 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 Um, both. If the genie popped yeah, out and you got too. three wishes, and he was like, "I'm going to be dictator for the day," that's one. Okay, wish granted. I think that's that a waste. Maybe he could do away Close with all the, the bullshit. That we've had to, you know, all the weird shit that's been passed, all the weird stuff going on. And we can, he can take care of that all day one. And then on day two, bam, back to being normal. I yeah. get what he was saying. So, was, like, I, I don't think was, it was that bad of a comment. No, no but, but it, was dumb, it was dumb joking. to say. It, yeah, but, but yeah. it was No, I get it, Zeus. He put, he put a quote out there that they could just beat into the ground. Right, I, I that's totally get it. I'm a bit of context. Mean, I told Out you I'm going to vote for the guy. Most likely I will be voting for Trump. But it's just that he's not as bad. It's not because, like, you guys know who I want, and he doesn't have a chance. And that's bullshit, too. Because here's the thing. Biden may have said, I don't want RFK to be on the uh, in the debates. But fucking Trump was like, yeah, that seems like a bad idea for me, too. He didn't. Because why wouldn't he want to have somebody on there that might take away Biden's unless he's worried that this guy make might make so much sense that he affects me too. But Trump just accepted whatever Biden said were the terms of the debate. Oh, come on. You think that that was it? That it was black and white? They just thought it and then it was done? No. He said no. he would do it he anytime, want, he any place. Yeah, and their terms their terms and conditions were terrible, Mike. He should have just flat out agreed to it. He shouldn't have just agreed and, to And it. he should have had RFK in there just to look like I don't think that's secure. up to him. Well, what? here's the thing. Zeus. I don't think that's up to that's him. That's up to the moderators. They okay, may have still, criteria. Guys, they spelled guys, guys. out the criteria of when he, he could have said true something. American, to a true American, you should want complete transparency. You should want each All three party represented in the debates. I'm with you. I don't see why. Yeah, I don't see there, there, but... And that being said, Trump, a smart move by Trump would have been said would have been to say RFK has got to be there too. That's like what Ramaswamy said when they were trying to keep Trump out. Yeah. I that's but, what but I think. Do you know that uh to this day uh Joe Biden has denied RFK secret service protection? Yeah. Yes. I'm yeah. just saying. I mean that's it, it's it's fucking it's fucking insane. We are a, it's a shit I mean, show the whole that, country. That right is now. bananas. Yeah. Why? Like why is he doing Because that? because it's it's a privilege that is allowed to put presidential candidates and somehow Biden said no. And I think that's a, it's obvious that he's scared of RFK. RFK would. Especially when his dad was assassinated. Right. Running for president. You know, I mean. Uncle. And his yeah, in other words, he might. In other words, he would think president. that he. Right. He, he might really need a yeah. secret service. Yeah. More. More. Yeah. More reason to get. At least for the what they love to say, the optics of it. But. Well, yeah, I was it's... I was going to suggest that we do a uh, Am I the Asshole? But I don't know if it's too late now for everybody. It's yeah, it's pretty late. Eleven twenty one. This was Am I, I the I'm, Asshole for bringing up this the, topic? I guess I'm the Asshole for not wanting people to be married and be families. <laughs> I don't think I agree good. with you. I think Break marriage is an archaic. It's an archaic thought. It, it, you don't need to be married okay, to be Okay, we're going to have to do a whole episode I'm on, just, on the marriage happily. issue. I'm just saying that not everyone should be and if you sh yeah, don't, or if you not. are not compatible, you should not stay together for the children. Yeah, don't do that. No, too. I agree too. with you. I agree with you. Right. Yeah, but, I agree with that yeah, too. I agree. Just to be very, very clear, I was just saying I, I when I was asking those questions, I'm like are you saying that the goal should, that no one should be married? I mean, that was where no, I was No, no, that's fine. It. If you can put up with that shit for fucking like 20 not years, being go for married it. better. Anyway, yeah, we should do that <laughs> as the next episode. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole nother I episode. I am, yeah, 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 I'm I, better I for up, worse. Put I up with the shit little for too 20 much years. On this episode, I think. <laughs> it's fine. It was fun. So I, I think. Uh, yeah, we've been on for a while, Mike. We yeah. have been on for a while. I think we should wrap it up. You ready? All right. Let's all wrap it up. Bye, everybody. We'll see you next Bye. time. Bye, everyone. Happy Juneteenth, everyone.
Uh-huh. 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 U